remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I don't know where this occurred, but there's a video circulating on the web right now of a couple of guys in a car who rolls up on this girl who's standing on the street with a couple of her friends. Apparently, they tried to holler at her. When she didn't respond like they wanted her to, the passenger starts to rag on her clothes. She has a Fendi outfit on that he calls fake. So he sticks a couple of hundred dollar bills out of the window and tells her friends, here, get this to your friend, tell her to go get her some real Fendi. I don't know where, first of all, you can buy Fendi for a couple of hundred dollars. But it amazes me that the first thing that this guy would do when the girl didn't want to talk to him is start talking about her clothes, trying to bring her down. Her clothes were good enough when you first tried to holler at her, the clothes was good enough. But now she don't want to holler, you want to try to drag her. Family, young men, this is something that you don't do. This is what cornballs do. This is what clowns do. This is indicative of a man or a male, because every male is not a man, of a male with low self-esteem. They showed the, the part where they ragged on her, but they didn't show the part where they was trying to holler at her, and she rejected them. See, that's what hurt. When she rejected them, the only way that he could respond was to lash out. That's how abusers do. When somebody don't do what they want them to do, somebody don't respond how they want them, them to respond, they strike them. That's how they do. So these are guys with low self-esteem who probably didn't have no daddies in the house with them. Didn't tell them how to deal with women. The way you operate when a woman don't want to talk to you is keep it moving. It's as simple as that. The same way that she should respond if she tried to holler at you and you were like, I ain't with it. You know, imagine some chick that you don't like trying to holler at you and you turn her down, and then she start ragging on what you got on. It's always the dude in the passenger seat, huh? It's always the one in the passenger seat that be doing the most. These dudes don't understand communication one-on-one. -on, -one. on a personal note, I think it's the human thing to do to speak back to someone who greets you. Having said that, Nobody's obligated to speak back to you if you speak to them. Especially if they're in a relationship. They don't have to reciprocate your energy. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know if that person's in a relationship. You don't know if that person has experienced death in the family. You don't know if they're just having a tough day and they're at the end of their rope and they just don't want to be bothered. If you watch the video, which I put a link in the description for you to check out yourself, you'll see that this is just a couple of thirsty clowns who got rejected and didn't know how to respond. Just didn't have the tools to communicate properly. There's two sides to every story. Maybe the woman was in a committed relationship. But you got two fools who speak to her and they don't get the reaction they want, so they just start clowning her. The girl ain't even clowning them back or nothing. She ain't loud enough. She's just standing there, silent, looking at them, like the clowns they are. 
What's the trip is that when a man's woman go out into the world, he expect her to carry herself with class and because she's a representation of him. He expects her to not cheat. He expects her to be loyal. So maybe she told the dude, hey, I got a boyfriend, but he didn't respect it. But we want dudes to respect our situation. Ain't that funny how that work? These dudes are straight up coin balls. If you got game, you don't need to flash money. Only people who ain't used to having money flashes money. The ones who are used to having money don't have to flash because they're too busy investing. Some people know the cost of everything and the value of nothing. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.